shocking picture, isn't it? That was Belfast actor Bernadette Brown in the role of abused wife and mother Lisa in Reach Out, Speak Out, a drama produced by Women's Aid in Northern Ireland. She was acting a part, but the trauma she suffered is only too real for many women. Statistics show that one in every four women is potentially a victim of domestic violence and abuse. Some are even killed. It can happen to anyone, and it's not only physical violence. Domestic violence can include physical, emotional, psychological, financial and sexual abuse. It is a pattern of coercive and controlling behaviour within an intimate relationship or family. Most of the victims are women. Lucas is getting really silly. I didn't mean to insult you. Silly, am I? No one should have to put up with mental or physical abuse within their own home. Women's Aid will provide refuge and emotional and practical support to any woman in crisis, as well as her dependent children. It can never be the same as a home, but we try to make it um, as much like a home environment as possible. There are 12 Women's Aid refuges covering all of Northern Ireland. The accommodation varies from refuge to refuge, but each provides a safe, secure environment for women who have fled their own homes, either on their own or with their children. They will have their space to um, rest and think about their options. They'll have a, a worker um, especially for them so that they will walk them through what all their options may be. Other than that, we provide um, emotional and practical support and group work. Um, we have Journey to Freedom, which is a 12-week programme that women can um, look at the domestic abuse when they're ready. And another one called New Beginnings, which is looking at building up your self-esteem because ultimately domestic violence is a killer of self-esteem. Women's Aid also provide a number of independent housing spaces for families who have moved out of refuge or whose needs are best met in this environment. Women's Aid outreach teams of floating support workers provide the same level of support to women and children in these spaces as they would receive in refuge. Women's Aid understands that domestic violence also has a damaging effect on the children and works with the mother to help her provide for their emotional and practical needs. As each child comes in, we take into consideration their individual needs and we would work as much in partnership with the mum as possible. Um, maybe at the start of a child's a bit unsettled, they want mum to come into the playroom with them and that's not a problem. And then we'll work with mum if she's maybe having problems with bedtimes, behaviour. So we'll always try to work together alongside mum, you know, to make it as happy as possible. So we take the children out on loads of outings as well. When they're in refuge, we would go bowling, the cinema, soft play areas. And obviously during the summer holidays, we would do a lot more. Domestic violence can happen to anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, what age you are, or your circumstances. I'll never let that happen again. I didn't mean to hit you. I just love you so much. There are many reasons why a woman may stay in an abusive relationship. She may be ashamed of what has happened convinced by the perpetrator that she was to blame, still love their partner and long for the relationship to work, concerned about their children growing up without their father, be convinced by their partner that it was a one-off and won't happen again, be worried about how she could manage financially on her own, or fear if she tells anyone her partner will find out and she'll be in danger of further and more severe violence from him. But any woman who is in crisis or who wants to talk and get practical advice and emotional support can ring the 24-hour domestic violence helpline run by Women's Aid. That's a helpline for anybody who's experienced an abusive relationship. Um, that's like often the first port of call for, for lots and lots of people. We've got hundreds and thousands of women um, ringing that helpline and then they can find out where their nearest centre is or refuge. The helpline is a 24-hour helpline which is managed by Women's Aid. It's uh, available 365 days a year and it's open to anyone affected by domestic violence. And are you safe there at the moment? Is he there? It's, it's a free phone number 
and it's an 0800 number. So they can call any time of day, uh, like two in the morning, seven o'clock in the evening. Okay, have you stayed in refuge before? Domestic violence doesn't always happen just between nine to five and it's, it's great uh, 24 hour availability. Women's aid services are for all communities. They have information leaflets available in seven different languages, Chinese, Polish, Portuguese, Bulgarian, Irish, Urdu and Arabic. In addition, they use the language line translation and interpretation service to make sure their message is available to everyone. We have um, the telephone interpreter service that we can use, I think it's called Big Word. And women that have come in before, maybe from other countries, are offering to volunteer as interpreters. So not only do we have interpreters, but we have interpreters who have empathy for the women and what they're suffering, which is very, very important because you can use interpreters and a lot of the understanding isn't there. For any woman in crisis, choosing to seek help is the first step towards regaining control of her life. Women's Aid in Northern Ireland will guide and support her along that path, whether she decides to return home or begin a new independent life. It is through this self-help and mutual support that victims regain their self-esteem and escape the damaging effects of abusive relationships. Women's Aid have long recognised that um, leaving any relationship, um, and particularly an abusive relationship where there has been um, an awful lot of power, power and control over that woman, that to leave is a long process oftentimes and it's not something that be can be done overnight. Um, so we would have women that would return to refuge over a period of time before they finally um, make the break and uh, move on to independent living. But for those women who are at that stage, um, when they leave refuge, we can offer a range of supports in the community from our outreach workers. And while you're out there in the community, you can come back and do programmes with us, such as Journey to Freedom, Protective Behaviours, all the women's aid programmes that are very well known. Your children will also have their needs met. They will do their group work, Helping Hands, Transformers, all the different groups. And then we can also work with your children one-to-one -one, or with the woman one-to-one. -one. We will provide a creche for your children while you do that, we will provide premises for you to meet with any agency you need to meet with and support you through all of that. You know, Women's Aid really is a wraparound service of a family. If the need within that family is not met by Women's Aid, we will seek an agency that does support that woman or meet her need. Women's Aid also provides support for women to seek legal protection so they can remain in their own homes. When women do need to access the courts, whether it be for various reasons, it could be uh, non-molestation orders, occupation orders, there could be disputes over uh, child contact, there could be civil bills, like the division of assets, and also then in relation to criminal uh, cases, whereby the perpetrator of the violence is then held accountable through the courts and the woman is called as, as a witness. So firstly, the woman will be supported by a fluent support worker to go to the solicitors to get that initial legal advice. And then prior to going to court, there's services the floating support worker can bring the woman along to the courthouse prior to her attendance at court, just to give her an overview of the layout of the court, the procedures within the court. We're, we're not there by any means to give legal advice, but we are there to give information and support at that, that very, very scary time in a woman's life where she does have to go to court. So having that support of a floating support worker to reassure her um, that everything is going to be fine and that she's, she's doing well uh, is an absolutely vital service. Not every abused woman needs to go to a refuge. Women's aid centres across Northern Ireland offer support and advice on dealing with and preventing domestic violence. Lots of people come, don't need refuge, they've got family support or they might have other um, resources available, but they still need and want to talk to somebody else. They also really want and need to meet others that are experiencing what they've experienced. So a centre like this, it gives that opportunity. So they can come and meet other women, other children, other teenagers. We've got group programmes during the day and evening for, for women. And that's programmes like Journey to Freedom, which is a self-development programme, specifically looking at um, their experiences of domestic violence. And then we've got groups for children and young people here as well. And a lot of that work could look at self-esteem, looking at healthy relationships, looking at anger, looking at um, 
self empowerment and some of the, some of the um, programs we do here is something called protective behaviors and that look, actually looks at how could you keep yourself safe in any situation but including an, an abusive relationship crucial to the day-to-day -day running of the various services is the work of the volunteers our volunteers are very very important because we can only go so far we are a voluntary agency we are struggling financially our volunteers come in and our volunteers are are, are, are the backbone of Women's Aid. They are the people who are keeping the gardens, they're the people who are helping us maintain our buildings, they are doing the court support work, they are trained court support workers. We can offer them as much training as we can. They're professionals in this field, but doing it on a voluntary basis. Women's Aid Federation Northern Ireland and all 10 local women's aid groups work in partnership with a wide range of other agencies to tackle domestic violence. The Federation has a responsibility for supporting local women's aid groups, managing the 24-hour domestic violence helpline, regional policy and lobbying, regional training, sharing good practice and liaison with a wide range of government, statutory and voluntary bodies. There's a already tremendous work that's being done by our local groups um, in partnership working um, and also by the Federation working with external bodies and agencies. Um, and I think it is a challenge to make sure that those issues remain on the agenda, particularly if you're in challenging economic times where funding can be, can be difficult. But I think it's incredibly important um, that the whole impact of domestic violence on women and children in Northern Ireland um, is understood um, by society and particularly by government. Training on domestic violence is vital for all the professionals that a woman who was experiencing domestic violence would come into contact. She may go looking for help to a GP who, if they're not perhaps on the lookout for signs of domestic violence, may not be able to give her help. And we know that the sooner that a, a woman experiencing domestic violence could access support, it could save lives. Any bloody run? You're taking up the whole sofa and move over. Some women may believe that they're not suffering domestic violence. They may think that it's something that they're doing wrong. Quite often that's the message the perpetrator will, will give her. Would you not get out? Get a bit of exercise instead of eating outside the house and home? Don't pull that sulky face from me. So if she feels unhappy in her relationship and her partner is always criticising her or blaming her, she will feel very lonely in that because if you feel guilty about something, that's a very lonely place to be. So for any woman who's suffering that type of abuse and knows in her gut that this isn't right and that she knows that she can't fix this, that women's aid are there through you know, telephone helpline or, or refuge or outreach workers that'll call and see her. So any time at all, if she's in doubt even, and she knows something's telling me this isn't good, she can talk to someone. Women and children have a right to live a life free from violence and abuse. Women's aid believes society as a whole has a duty to recognise and defend these human rights. Domestic violence is not just an issue for women's aid, um, it's an issue for all of us in society and um, certainly in, you know, we would get help from the police, from solicitors, from the courts and I think that that has a very positive impact on a woman when she comes here because she realises sometimes for the first time that um, it's not, she's not on her own and it's not up to her to fix it. It's a long way home, he used to walk it with her And down the alley